Thousands of women fled Afghanistan in the wake of the Taliban takeover last summer. Their freedoms were stripped away, including their right to an education. But as of December, more than 60 Afghan women studying at the Asian University for Women in Afghanistan had found their way to Arizona State University. Today, dozens of those women took part in a program called Dress for Success Phoenix, preparing them for a future just full of opportunity. Team 12's Josh Sanders joined them as they dreamt of one day returning to their homeland to help others. Behind what looks like a day of shopping for these women, finding that new outfit, the right shade of foundation, or the perfect lip, is a story of hope and profound loss. Thousands of people were trying to get into the airport, and we were almost seven buses and full of girls. Fahima remembers the day she and her fellow classmates escaped the Taliban, boarding a plane at the Kabul airport, leaving behind family and friends, everything they've ever known. She considers herself one of the lucky ones. Thinking about my family back in Afghanistan, thinking about millions of other girls, they're not safe. I'm worried about their safety. I'm worried about their lives. Now she and other Afghan women are leaning on opportunities here in Arizona. More than 60 Afghan women brought to ASU through the International Rescue Committee to continue their education, like Latifa, studying law in hopes to return home and help others. When I was very young, I was always dreaming of uh, being in the court, being a judge. I would love to go back and work for my people and serve them. In the last two decades, education has opened doors to millions of Afghan women, but the Taliban takeover caused major setbacks. These ladies were in university, they were studying, they were moving forward. It is hard to fathom that these women left their homeland, not voluntarily. Tamala Macbeth is CEO for Dress for Success Phoenix, today offering the students style and makeup advice along with resume building. This styling part is just the tip of the spear. They're brilliant women. We're enhancing them and empowering what they already bring to the table. I want to help women to know about their rights, to live independently, and uh, to be treated equally. I know it's hard, but I hope that one day I could do a little bit of positive changes that I can do from my side. Josh Sanders, 12 News.